Welcome back. Now, the clinical trial of a first-of-its-kind biometric immunization system that captures a newborn baby's data is promising, and its implementation across the country will improve efficiencies in the vaccination of children below the age of five. Now, the trial by the Kenya Medical Research Institute at Kinango Dispensary in Kuala County, which has shown over 90 percent success rate, will include the management of infant fingerprint data via the biometric system linked to vaccination records from birth. Now, it will be used to schedule upcoming vaccination appointments. Emily Chabet visited the facility in Kuala County, where the pilot program has been running for close to five years now and reports on the health technological success that is aimed at attaining 100% immunization of children in the country. This is the Kinango Subcounty Hospital in Kwale County. A biometric registration of newborns is ongoing. Before a child is born, parents are taken through the process and its importance in order to get consent. Two hours after birth, they are requested again to confirm their consent so that copies of their child's fingerprints are taken. A digital biometric-based vaccination management system developed by the Kenya Medical Research Institute in collaboration with a Japanese company and Nagasaki University is aimed at managing the vaccination history of a child from two hours after they are born all through until they hit their fifth birthday. Fingerprint identification is used for the newborn children and voice recognition for caregivers. We've realized that we don't have a way of tracking children, especially about their vaccination system and history, and being very well when we talk about biometrics, when they are almost 10 years and so for then two years. But two hours after birth, this is, to the best of our knowledge, this is the first time you're having such a system happening. <laughs> Recording mtoto wake, tuna create profile ya mama, profile ya mtoto, tunampiga picha mama, tunapiga picha pia mtoto. Alafu ndio tunachukua nini? Video zake. Na indicate huyu mtoto amezaliwa leo ndio, lakini mnajua mtoto kishazaliwa kabla tolewa hapa hospitali inafaa dongo zile shindano za BCG. Na baada hapo after 6 weeks, 10 weeks, 14 weeks kuna shindano kwa zina mkoja mpaka 18 weeks. Unaona? So kwa hizi shindano kuna vinye inafaa apatiliwe. Uh, would like to have a system where we can actually capture first vaccines because of vaccine management system uh, children immediately because their vaccines which are given immediately after birth we need to be able to capture that system up to the end a number of children under the age of five years miss out on some important vaccines because of the busy schedules of their parents Poverty is another factor where needy families could lack the funds to take their children to the medical facility. The biometric system will now allow parents to visit the facility that is closest to them and their child's data will be easily available countrywide once the program is fully rolled out. <laughs> ukavu sana drought ilikuwa imehit sana sasa mama atafikiria mtoto vaccine ama atafikiria kwenda mimi kutafuta maji sasa hapo ndo sisi tunakuja ndani tunampigia ya kwamba mama eh shindano yako ya pili ni tarehe 10 na tarehe 10 nikishokuta utakuja kwa hii facility yetu ama utaenda hospitali gani alafu anatueleza akishatueleza tuseme mimi naenda kwale sitakuja hapa kinango ikifika tarehe 10 tuna tunampigia tena umeenda kwale eh nimeenda kwale ukadunga shindano gani nikadunga shindano 1 2 3 We've created a platform here and you can see it works. We would like to open it up to other areas within the county here, like two or three hospitals to see what is happening. And at the same time, we will be able to link such that if you go to any hospital, because it's a biometric system, and the data goes to a, data, to, to a database somewhere, with your finger we get that information. As, long as it's restricted, because there's a confidentiality level, where it's restricted to people who can access it. Sometimes, when it's a power card, it's like an IV, it's like a date, it's like a card, it's like a card, it's like a card, it's like a card, it's like a date, it's like a card, 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 it's like a card. The biometric system has been termed as a game changer in vaccine management. It is cost-effective and reduces the workload of staff overseeing vaccination programs. 
Scientists at the Kenya Medical Research Institute are looking at advancing the system beyond immunization of children to data health management system in public hospitals where patients' data is captured from birth to death for ease of health management and even easy access to birth and death certificates. Clinicians may ask relating on how you're feeling, have you ever had? But at the same time, there are common factors which even sometimes they are not able to, to get them there. In the long run, if we can be able to capture the person's clinical history from birth to death, it would actually give us a lot of information in improving diagnostics. Are we able to also come up with a system where we can understand the actual vaccine coverage in the community? If we find out there are areas where they don't have, we don't get them coming back in the system, what would be the cost? Do we need an outreach there? Do we need to do, that will enable us to make sure that in the long run, the vaccination system goes to up to 100. Our children are fully immunized by that time. The system is currently operational in Kwale County alone, but scientists are calling on the relevant stakeholders to embrace the emerging health technologies. This system is going to be Kwale County with time. But now we are going to go to Kwale County. We are going to go to Kwale County most recently. Kwa hivyo umtu wangu moja kiwa huko kwale, sunajua anajaza. Na kama itakuwa ni cloud-based, itakuwa inaonesha hapa kwa report ya kwamba huu mama aliabjetiwa kwale ya mefani, hamepata vaccine yake. For us to expand to other areas where we will need to actually capacity build, which is key. Capacity building is the one that is key for this project. We will need further funding. For currently, we don't have that fund for that. We only have fund for making sure the platform works and advising the relevant stakeholders the importance of such a platform. The use of electronic medical records and biometrics is increasingly becoming important in healthcare facilities because of the value addition and easy access to patient data, improved workflow and easy coordination of patient, hence improved service delivery. Emily Chebet, Citizen TV, Kuala County.